Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and I hope you're all doing well. Today is Wednesday, so it is Wednesday weight update. So I do have an update. Now, like I said in my previous video, I'm not going to tell you how much I weigh. Suffice to say, it's quite a lot. Um, I, our scales are a little bit wacky. We've got two sets of scales and both my husband and I weigh vastly different on each set of scales. So obviously we're going, we're going with the lowest weight. But just to double check what's going on we're also now taking measurements just of our waists so i am going to get all the info and get started but i'm also going to do a skincare not a demonstration or anything like that but i'm going to show you what i use particularly because at the moment as you can see on my chin here i have a little bit of um well a lot of a bit of a breakout i have cut out all the crap in my diet so my face my skin is detoxing so hence all the yeah nastiness there and I'm congested around my sides and my face I'll get into that in a minute anyway I'm going to talk about my skincare but first we're going to go uh, to do the weight update okay so just before I do the update I forgot to share my cup so this is this morning's cup how gorgeous is this and I haven't seen a robin in real life for 20, almost 25 years. So if you are in love with this cup, it's from Marks and Spencers in the UK and it was six pounds. So there you go. And that was just something random. But like I said, I'm going to show you a cup each day. Now my lighting is new and it's showing my skin true to colour and redness and all that sort of stuff. So I will leave it as it is at the moment. And also if I come to do makeup, I'll just do it in this setting until I change things. But anyway, on to the update. So last week I took my measurements around my waist and I've done it today. Actually, I did it on the 25th and I've done it today, which is the 28th. So I've lost three centimetres exactly on my waist. And I have lost, in two weeks, I have lost exactly 5.4 kilos. Now, I know that is a little bit more than is advised by a doctor but like I said in my previous video I am a big girl so I do tend to lose quite a bit of weight first up in the, in the initial few weeks so I'm really happy about that so as I sort of change things up food wise I'll let you know if I'm doing anything specific but at the moment all I am doing is cutting out crap I'm not having any rubbish during the week at all all I am having is a free day at the weekends where if we go out with friends and we want to go to a restaurant, I don't limit myself to just, say, a pile of lettuce. I do have something within reason. Um, I don't really drink alcohol at all. I have the occasional drink, but I'm a crap drinker, so I tend not to drink because I am drunk within, like, two glasses. So I tend not to do it. And what else? I think that's all. Um, any any food updates I've got coming up, I will let you know about. But now I'm going to talk about my skincare. Okay, so for my skincare, the only reason I really wanted to talk about it is because as I lose weight, my skin is going to change and I'm going to hopefully have less breakouts on my chin. So some of the products I am about to talk about, I was given. I was given, I'm not sponsored in any way to say anything nice about these products. And I can tell you now, if I like them, I'll tell you. If I don't like them, I will also tell you. I... Also bought a lot of these myself. So some are, some are given to me, some aren't. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is one that was actually given to me. And this is a Clarisonic, which I've got here. Now, I've left it in the box until... Sorry, that's really glary. It's a Clarisonic Mia. And as you can see, I haven't got a clue which side is which. It's really confusing me that I'm opposites, but I'll get used to that. So that's a Clarisonic Mia, so I will be using this. Now, I actually... Since I was given this, I have had another Clarisonic given to me as a Christmas gift. But I wanted to try this one out because this was given to me specifically for this lifestyle series. So I will be using that. Now with the Clarisonic, I have got the Clarisonic um, cleanser that I have been using. And I do like that, but I find it quite stripping. So I've stopped using that. What I do like is this one. This is a glycolic foaming cleanser and it's the Mario Badescu one. It's really, really well priced. And I've this is my second one of these and I love this. And I get mine from Mecca Maxima at High Point in, in Victoria. So that's my cleansers. Now, oh, and the other thing I use if I'm taking off my makeup, this is a new thing to me. Now, this is something I discovered after watching Emil Liliana, who is a blogger and YouTuber in the UK. I will link her below because she's fabulous and she makes me spend fortune um, <laughs> with all her good recommendations but the chamomile cleansing oil from the body shop 
really nice gets all of your makeup off and leaves your skin great so that's a new one for me so I am using that at the moment when I'm stupidly lazy I love these these are the simple wipes this one is now which one's which this is just this is the regeneration age resist cleansing wipe so that's just what I use generally if I'm being super lazy if I don't have makeup on this one is an exfoliator so what I do oops what I normally do is I use this as a second wipe if I want to have a bit of, bit more of an exfoliate on my skin. In terms of toning, I'm really slack and I don't do a whole lot, but I have just got these. These are radiant, what are these? Face, facial radiance pads from First Aid Beauty. Now I can't remember, somebody uses these that I've watched a YouTuber and they've sworn by them, so I thought, oh, I'll give it a go. So they're just, I'll just show, let's see if I can show you. They're just tiny little Jeez, it's a bit bright with that lighting anyway they're just tiny little cotton pads very thin and with like a sort of texture so you get a bit of an exfoliation and they're really good so I do use those now moisturizers depending on my skin and I should have said to, to you also my skin is fine in the summer I am prone to dryness uh, my cheeks are very sensitive and obviously I have got a little bit of rosacea in the summer I do get my oilier t-zone it's not particularly like, like I'm not really greasy or anything like that but I'm sort of a big combination but in the winter I'm definitely drier so in the winter my absolute favorite go-to is the, is the skin shank skin shangri-la which is a lush product I love this this is probably my third one and it's not an unpleasant smell it's it's a different smell it's um sort of more herby I guess and I really really do like that one the other things that I do use, and I use these religiously, and I have been for ages, is the Mario. I'm a really big Mario Badescu fan. If you hadn't guessed, you will in a minute. I like the Hyaluronic Day Cream as my general moisturiser. At night, if I want to give myself a bit more of a boost, I use their Chamomile, Chamomile Night Cream. I really like that. And what else do I use by him? Mm. Oh, a new moisturiser I have found, and I've only just been using this recently, is then Buttermilk moisturizer so I don't stick to one product religiously I just see what I feel like at the time this one I just whack on during the day when I feel like I need a bit of an extra boost and then the one that I really love and I tend not to use that often because it is quite pricey is this one and I absolutely absolutely love this one now this is a lot of time excuse me, the L'Occitane Cream Divine and it is a really, really rich, intense cream. Now I do use that very sparingly, as I said, because it isn't particularly cheap and I I really, really like all of those products. So I do swap and change just depending on so I'm just going to talk about eye creams and masks and then a few extra products I'm going to be trying out. So I, first of all, I've got this weird habit of everything I keep in boxes as long as I can. It's just some weird thing I do. So my all-time most amazing mask ever in the entire world and I will never stray from this is the super mug clearing mask I absolutely love this if you've got breakouts or your skin's just yuck this is freaking awesome it really is it really it's just I like oh I can't I, this is my this is almost gone I've got another one in the bedroom I was panicking in case I ran out so that is what I do a, a really good skin detox with when my skin is on the alternative, so sorry, I should just say that one is quite pricey. So I again get that one from Mecha, Cos uh, Mecha Maxima, Mecha Cosmetica, depending on which one I'm at. An alternative is the Origins, which is their Clear Improvement Active Charcoal Mask. So same sort of thing, does a very similar job, but a lot cheaper. So I do alternate between them if I'm thinking I want to save that one up, then... Yeah, I have a bit of a panic when I start to run out of things, but those two are brilliant. If my skin is super, super dehydrated and I want a really, really intense mask, I use the Thirsty Mud Hydrating Treatment. Now, you can pop this on for, I think it's 10, 15 minutes, or you can also pop it on and leave it on overnight and your skin comes out just super soft in the morning. So those are my masks that I really love. I have got a couple of others that I use. There is a Mario Badesco, Badescu, sorry, Clen, uh, what's it called? 
I think it's like a karma mask for red. Yeah, that's what it's called, karma mask. I do use that occasionally for redness. Okay, so with my eyes and my eye creams, I am always on search for the perfect one. Now, there is, a, as I said before, there's an expensive one by L'Occitane, which is a part of their divine range. I do use that, and I it's okay, but I think it's a lot of money, and it doesn't really make any earth-shattering differences to me. So one thing I was sent from the body shops is their drops of youth eye concentrate. Now, I really... I thought, oh, this is a bit weird and quirky. So what it is, it's got a little metal ball on the end of it and you squeeze and the product comes out a bit and then you just roll it around your eye. So anywhere that you need it, it's cooling obviously and then I just, with my ring finger, I just pat it in and I really do like that and I've been using this for two or three months now with with distinct like I can actually see a difference I, my bags wear a lot more sunken so if I do that it looks a lot worse than if I just sit up straight but this one was really nice but some things that I've got to try coming up I had popped into Kiehl's and I was just after a moisturizer so I actually ended up with their ultra facial cream because I've heard amazing things about this now this was their limited edition package I think it was for a I think it was for a birthday. I think it was their store birthday or it doesn't actually say 1951. I can't remember. It was for some special reason anyway. So while I was in there, of course, I got suckered in and I've got two eye creams and I haven't tried them yet, but I'm going to. So I've got the powerful wrinkle reducing eye cream, which is this one. And I've also got the Kiehl's creamy eye treatment with avocado. So I haven't used either of them yet but I will use those I'm, I'm keen to find a decent eye cream I do like the, the body shop one I can just roll that on whenever and I got some other little samples while I was in there they gave me some another sample of the wrinkle reducing eye cream and I got some toner so I do like when you go in the shops because they do they do give you some nice samples to try. I just looked into the bedroom because I completely forgot face oils and I do use a lot of face oils. So what I got also while I was in Kiehl's is their Midnight Recovery Concentrate and that is that. I haven't used it yet. They did give me a little sample which I broke. So it was in like one of those little plastic dispensary things and it broke. But this is a really, really nice... I'll just show you this. This is a dropper. So you press the and you drop that so that smells really nice so that one I'm really excited about but I already do use a couple of oils I've been using the Josie Marin 100% pure argan oil for a while now I did get that sent to me from online because it wasn't in Australia but it is now it's available at Mecca Maxima so I also had a panic attack about running out of that so I went and bought the full size one that I haven't cracked open yet but something I have been using for years and years and years, and this is a brand new one because I ran out, and it's the Damascan Rose Facial Treatment by Aesop. Bloody love it. It's absolutely gorgeous. If you want to pop it on overnight, you can put it on during the day. Just a couple of drops. You don't want to overload your face, but this is absolutely just amazing. Now, I get mine from David Jones, but there are other Aesop um, freestanding stores all over Australia, so that is absolutely if you, if you need a boost, I really recommend any any of them. I'll let you know how I go with the recovery one. But, yeah, all great. At the end, there's just a couple of things I forgot. So if I am unfortunate enough to have to fly somewhere, I take this sort of thing with me regularly. Now, I have got one from the body shop. It's also, It's gone missing. It's in my bedroom somewhere. Uh, but they're facial mists. So this is Breath of Fresh Air by Lush, which is lovely. And I've just got this new one, the Mario Badescu Skincare, and it's um, facial spray with aloe herbs and rose water. So if you need a hydration squirt, you can just spray it on your face. And these are fine over makeup as well, so I really do like them. Now, just the few things that I have got here that I've been given to try that I haven't tried yet. Now, I was sent these from Clearasil. These are the Superfruits Refreshing Toner, so that's good because I really haven't really got a good toner. I haven't got other than those pads I showed you. And the Superfruits Refreshing Wash. So I will use that on my Clarisonic. I'll give it them a go and let you know how I go with them. Now, the other thing that I was really lucky enough to be able to try was I went into David Jones and I went to see Dermalogica and I had a facial mapping. So they look at your skin, pick out what you should and shouldn't have, what type of skin you've got, what things that you need to like what areas you need to look at and concentrate on and then they pick some products so I was lucky enough to be given some products so I have a 
ultra calming cleanser so partly because I have the red skin so I've got a sample of that that I'm going to try and I've also got their active moist which is a an oil free lightweight moisturizer to hydrate combination skin sheer easy to apply formula blah 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 so I'm going to give them a go and the other thing that they recommended which luckily I already had because it was free with a magazine is their daily microfoliant now that is a powder so I can't remember exactly what you do with that after cleansing disperse onto wet hands create a creamy paste okay so make a paste whack it on exfoliate whack it off um <laughs> sorry that was a bit basic wasn't it but that is that is that I think that's everything that I've got to show you Okay, so that's all the products that I have got at the moment. I have got a lot more I've got to sort out and I will use them. I'm not religiously stuck to many of the products. I quite happily change. There are a few things I won't ever stray from. For instance, my Glam Glow mask. But what I wanted to show you mainly was how my skin improves when I use this. I have used it, then I've stopped using it. As I said, I haven't used this one. This, this cleans your skin six times more effectively than it does just regular cleaning and I think the, the the Mia 2 from memory is 10 times as clean I could be lying but it's a much more intensive clean and the surface of your skin improves the texture improves you don't have as many breakouts or any breakouts I, I found when I use this religiously I didn't get any breakouts at all but you do go through a purging stage and not everybody has it but I do and you get breakouts as your skin is purging all the crap your skin can break out but persist with it I I didn't stop when I had my breakout stage I didn't suddenly go oh my god I've got to stop I carried on once a day in the evenings and my skin is just it was just dramatically different so I wanted to show you week one what my skin looks like it you can't I'm just sorry I'm going to get really close there so there is a little bit of congestion and I find I get very congested on my temples hopefully that's showing up and just down the sides of my face so as I know obviously on my chin so as I progress with my Claris on it you will see the difference if I change anything up I'll let you know if there's any videos you want to see me do any makeup or anything like that then let me know if there's anything that you want me to talk about let me know as I said I'm gonna I am gonna be covering certain subjects as it goes on this series um what else i think that's all if you want to know anything about any of the products let me know i will let you know how i go with all the new ones any comments pop them in the comments box below and i will get back to you and i hope you like the video guys i hope it's something that's interesting to you maybe some of the products to try and i will have more coming up so I'll end it here and I will see you next time. Thank you very much for watching. Oh, and if you haven't subscribed, please do. I'll pop all the links below and give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. Okay, guys, thank you. Bye.